This video is for grades K through two and their parents. First, I'm going to show you how to make a simple song and then we're going to save it to Seesaw. So you should see the assignment here in Seesaw. Click the link. It'll take you right to the Chrome Music Lab song maker that we're going to be using. There it is. It'll take you to this blank song. It looks like maybe a pixel art application, but it isn't. It's definitely a powerful music writing tool. If you want to play around like that, go for it, but then come back to my video and make sure you refresh your song and follow my instructions. In the song maker, time travels from left to right, just like when you're reading a book. I can run, I love to jump. Or looking at a timeline for history, only this will be a history of notes. These lines here, these blue lines going up and down, these hard blue vertical lines, show you where the beats are. Here's the beginning of the beat, and here's the end of the beat. If you want, if you want to track the time in this, you can go like this. You can just make a little line of notes. Why not? And let's give it a listen to see what it sounds like. And you can watch time go from left to right. Now that's kind of interesting, but what I want to do is write a song that sounds like something that we know. First of all, let me show you where Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and Sol are. Red as Do, Re as Orange, Mi as Yellow, Fa as Light Green, and So as Dark Green. And we have another set up here. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. I like that it's a rainbow. Let's listen to our little scale and sing along, shall we? Ready and one, two, three, four. So, re, mi, fa, so. I'm sure you did great. Do it on your own time if you like. Now, we're going to start with our Bulbasaur song. Yes, some students might know this song as Quaker Quaker. How are you? But in my class, we do it as Bulbasaur, how are you? Because it's a bit more relatable. I don't know that there are many Quakers running around these days, but there sure are a lot of Pokemon. Bulbasaur, how are you? Starts on so, if you recall. So, so me, so, so me, is our melody. So, the rhythm is TT on so, and ta on me. Bulbasaur, how are you? I am fine, how are you? Who's that monster next to you? I think that it's Pikachu. T T T T T T Ta. Remember, two sounds on the beat is T T, one sound on the beat is Ta. Now, to hear what you've done, the play button is right here look at it it's right here see this let's see if we can sing along ready and one two three four Bulbasaur how are you I am fine how are you who's that monster next to you I think that it's Pikachu seems pretty good to me but hmm, it could be a little nicer let's add our accompaniment and bass line Remember, the accompaniment for this is Pikachu, Pikachu. And we're going to write that out here. Just like this. Do, so, do, on ta. And then the fourth beat will be a rest. So don't put anything in it and then repeat. Rest. Pikachu, rest. Pikachu. Two, and the last beat's a rest. Let's see if that sounds a little nicer. That's pretty pleasant. One more thing we can do is add a beat. Now, the drums are on the bottom of two lanes. You've got a low drum on the bottom and a high drum on top. There's the low drum sound. There's the high drum sound. Now, you can do whatever you want down here, but I suggest you do something simple like this. Ta low, ta high. Ti ti low, ta high. 
This is a very nice simple drum beat. And then you can repeat that pattern like this. Again, that's ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, repeating. Right, let's give that a listen. If you go here in the lower right hand corner and hit the save button over there, then it'll take you to this page where you just click on copy link and then take it into Seesaw and you can add a response. You'll want a link. Right click, control or command V, however, gets you, however you get to paste, you can put the link in there and then hit check. Wait for it to do its thing and then you're going to have to hit check again unless you want to make a note, but that's not necessary. Hit check again and that'll be your first response. Now back in Chrome Music Lab, now go ahead and hit this X button right here and you're back to your song. I'm going to ask you to erase the top line up here by clicking. You click and drag and hold down the button and you should be able to erase all your notes you did before. What I want you to do now is keep the bottom pretty much the same and don't make any changes to it, but add one line of notes on top of your own liking using do, re, mi, fa, and so only. I'm going to do my own version of this. Don't copy me here. I want you to do your own, but I'm going to write my own song. Something like... Now, since I land on do in my melody here, I'm going to add another do in the bass line to make it feel complete. And if I add a so to that, it'll feel even more complete. I'll even put a drum beat on it so it all feels like we arrive in the same place all at once. Why not? Let's give it a listen. I like it so far, but I might want to change it. There, I like that more. Listen again. If you're feeling really excited about it, try to sing along with your melody. So, mi, fa, do, re, mi, fa, mi, so, do, re, so, so, mi, so, fa, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. That was hard. Good luck doing your own. Once I've made my own song, and I'm happy with it, I can save again using the save button over here. And copy link. And then you're going to go back to Seesaw. Make sure you're in activity so you can add a second response. You're going to do a link and then paste it right in that field right there. You're going to have to hit check mark two times. There, looks pretty good. And if you're happy with it, hit check again. And if you've logged in and everything, that should be fine. Now, 